Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It is an adventure in makeup. And I know I say that a lot because we try new products, you know, luxury drugstore, but today is one of those very, very special days where we are trying out weird products. I have something right here called Conquer Your Cut Crease. I don't know, this could be cool, it could be nice. This is from the Vamp Stamp and I have used the Winged Liner Vamp Stamp in the past. Surprisingly, that actually worked out pretty well. If you're someone that needs that extra assist, with that, there is a little cleanup needed. I will go ahead and say that, it's not perfect. But again, it's a nice like getting to know makeup, like a little bit of an assistant. Uh, if you have a situation where your hands are shaky, if you have a situation where you need that extra help, even if you're not a beginner, maybe you know life has thrown you a curveball and you need something that might help you still do the things that you wanna do. Um, you know, something like this, the cut crease, we're gonna find out if it's good, if it helps. Um, the Vamp Stamp as a brand, that's a huge mission of theirs. And I really appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, so Vamp Stamp is a, oh my God, I'm wearing like five pounds of lipstick and I can actually feel it, like it feels heavy. <laughs> What am I even talking about? I also, in an unboxing video, I gave it away and then I ordered one myself. They noticed that I ordered it, which always makes me feel a little bit, um, not pressured, but I know how hard it is to launch a product and you know the hopes and dreams for it to work out you do pay attention. So now that I'm sitting in the CEO seat, I know how much the feedback matters and I do always wanna to try to find the positives, but I'm nervous to try this. This is called the Crease Piece. It is the Cut Crease Creation Kit. So I kind of thought we'd do like one eye, one eye. I also have like a third really weird product. This is like, look at that. It's like attached here. So it's on, ooh, it's a felt tip. I was not expecting that. So this is a felt tip that has like your guide here, but wait, there's more. I have the wink stamp. This is the winged eyeliner stamp pen. And the, I'm not even joking you, it says tampon on here. What does that mean in another language? Does tampon mean eyeliner? No. Okay, so this is kind of like the vamp stamp, you know, jute, 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 like that. And you got the other side. And then what's this? And then just a regular liner. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we're gonna do like weird liner on this side, weird liner on this side, weird cut crease on this side, other cut crease tool on this side. And I'm gonna look probably like a big hot mess, but it's gonna be fun. So let's just dive right on in. Let's do this. So let's see here. What do I start out with? I think we'll start with the, the vampy stampy. Whoa. Okay, so this actually comes with like a pretty intense makeup item too. Glitter shadow, kind of like a Stila Magnificent Metal type thing. Step one, prep with neutral eyeshadow base color from lash line to brow using the fluffy end of the Velux brush. And then use a darker contour eyeshadow of your choice and apply to the crease. Blend with the Velux brush using the flat end of the Velux brush. Apply concealer to the entire lid area and define where your cut crease will be. We're just gonna kind of do like a basic look. What's better for a basic look than my basic palette? Um, this has got all your neutrals. That's why I like this because it's kind of, you know, neutral, neutral, but also glitzy glam. Okay, so I'm gonna go in all over with Suze and I'm using their brush. I don't know that I would put this totally high up to the brow bone. I never like doing that really with anything. I mean, I'll kind of get up there, but I'm not gonna get like too far up. I'm just gonna kind of use circular motions and blend upward a little bit. Don't mind the glitter. I was totally just in it, playing with it prior to wanting to film this. Surprisingly, like not a bad brush to come with a kit like this. I'm gonna dip into Ritual now and just kind of go on that outer edge. Um, I think everybody should get very, very excited for what is to come, 
with Tati Beauty. You guys, I've been working just nonstop. Like I literally have so many collections in mind and so many products in mind, but I also love this formula so much. The formula moving forward is staying the same. Proudly made here in the States. And that gives me the access to kind of just be really present and like adjust and be perfectionist and like kind of yes, no. And on the spot, you know, work on things. And I have been working on things. Okay, I'm gonna go a little, you know, we're doing a cut crease. So I'm gonna go a little heavier in that outer corner. Now it says to take a concealer. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this, um, this P. Louise Base Pro. I'm gonna take the other end of the brush as they recommend you do. Using the flat end of the Velux brush, apply concealer to the entire lid area where you define what the cut crease will be, basically. Personally, I don't ever do like the full cut crease. This is probably more than I would normally do. Why don't I do this more often? Like that actually looks really nice. And in my head, I'm like, no, put glitter, no, do this. That actually looks pretty nice. Okay, we haven't even used the tool. Uh, okay, step two, paint the POV metallic glitter onto your little tool. Start at inner corner of the eye with pointed end of the stamp facing the inner corner, stamp onto the eye crease, making sure each impression is connected to the next. Okay, it tells you right to left, so we're gonna go on the left side, obviously. The end of the stamp. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I mean, I guess that's kind of cool, right? I don't know. My eyelids don't really handle a cut crease that much because they just want to like disappear into my head. There's like, you know, um, but we're gonna keep with it. And now we're gonna paint onto the lid. We're gonna now take this and we're gonna just kind of bring it down, but not go past where we laid that outline. I don't know how necessary this is. Maybe for a different eye shape, this would be better. We like the concept. I like the actual shadow. It's nice and shiny. The brush was good. I don't think that it's for me in terms of my particular eye shape. However, I do wanna give a shout out to Vamp Stamp for their original product. The ink that they have, like the intensity, um, in the liner itself is really fantastic. And then I do really love the idea that a passion and a why for that brand was to really help anybody out there that didn't have as easy of a time gripping onto eyeliner products or makeup products in general and needed an extra assist. So I do really love that. Um, okay, moving right along, we're gonna go into this guy here. This is like even more weird and intense. This is our crease piece. And it comes with a lot of different shapes. Once you've chosen your desired crease, remove the film from the back and adhere it to the top of the handle. Step two, hold your crease piece gently against the eye, apply your eyeshadow over the desired edge. Once you're finished building up your, ooh, this is actually really cool. Okay, best practices. For more of a defined look, start with the darkest shade and your thinnest brush. As the colors get lighter, the brushes should get larger. Avoid using stiff or flat brushes for blending. The fluffier, the better. Be sure to clean off any makeup remaining on the crease before removing it from the handle. And place the film back on the adhesive if needed. Okay. Oh my God. I actually think this is gonna work. So you have all these different like measurements here. Almond left, almond right, round or right. So that's a little high for me. That's probably, this is probably more for me. 
Oh my God, this is so weird. What? All right, so we're gonna go in. This is like such a different way to do things. I'm gonna go in with ritual. This feels so crazy. Okay, and now, oh my gosh, ooh, shut the front door. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Soothe and buff and blend a little bit up. This is weird because I'm I, like, I can't see what I'm doing obviously cause this thing is over my eyeball, but I'm just imagining that it's going well. Wow. Are you guys seeing that? Stop this. That's like a perfect line. That's amazing. Okay. I'm blown away by that for so many reasons. I'm gonna finish up my eyes by doing like just a little bit of a blend out here to soften up that edge. I'm gonna take Soothe and just kind of do a little bit of this. See, I don't like to, for the line to like stay like that, but I bet you that you can even go on top a little bit and kind of get it to join up. Yeah. Um, FYI, you can always use your baby blendy to kind of, I like to like soften the edges, but make sure that you don't use the same one thrown in your bag for touch-ups. Otherwise you might run into it being, having like a little bit of eyeshadow on it. But if you ever need to like soften up something, it does a really nice job of that. Okay, I think I really wanna try now the kind of strange liner situation that we have going on. So this one right here, I am gonna paint her up and go, maybe that's how you do it. Oh, dummy. Okay, maybe it's like this. It's like a nice outline. Yeah, okay, that worked. Whoa. I mean, it's definitely, this is not the kind of thickness that I would normally want, but at least we can see like a nice visual that this does work. Um, not, the biggest fan of the shininess in the formula of this liquid. Oh my gosh, I have to talk so slow when I'm like lying and talking to you guys. I'm like, of this liquid eyeliner. This is from a company called Able, and they do have, I believe from memory, looking at their site, a bunch of kind of more interesting products. This actually worked phenomenally well. I mean, like really, if I put on like a bold latch, latch, a pair of latches. I need to take a break. Oh my God. Okay. Like if I put on some of these, let's take a, let's take a wander through the lash, lash land. Because I mean, if you're gonna go for it and you're gonna do like a big wing like this, you need some lashes. Sometimes you just, you need for your eye makeup to be sassy. Over here, I'm really digging this little lift, like whenever you do put a little shadow here, it will just kind of like really open your eyes up, which is nice. That's really extreme. Okay, I think that's the biggest liner I have ever done ever, ever. Let's move to the other side. I do wanna use the Kaja little liner guy right here and just see what that's about. Something I find really helpful is to kind of look straight like where you want your wing. Cause you need to know how it looks with your eyes open. So I know as much as we want 
to close our eyes when we do a wing, you really should get at least the shape with your eye open. You see, that's a nice shape for my eyes. It kind of gives me a little bit of a lift, which I like. Um, let's connect this and see what happens. So I'm gonna make the tip a little more angular. I have this habit of always taking my nail and kind of just going like this. Probably don't do that to a client. If you are a makeup artist out there, that's just what I do. Wow. This liner is good. Like forget the, even the stampy part. This is a really nice liner. I'm gonna put lashes on the other side so it's not so, so, so not balanced and I'm gonna pull the camera out and we will chat about our final thoughts. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, I know it, like I'm confused looking at myself too. We have two very different situations going on here. I love the way this looks. I really want to play with it a little bit more. It's not the most comfortable thing to kind of have something there and not be able to see what you're doing, but the outcome, if you have a hard time getting into your crease the way that I do, because my lids kind of move around quite a bit, this is a nice tool. And this stamp from Kaja, I'm impressed. I really like the formula too. Um, if we go over here, Obviously, my bad, the wing was way too wingy and too big. I don't like the shiny formula, but it was very, very intense in black. I'm doing this so you guys are not totally confused. Otherwise, I look so crazy just being like, all right, guys, let's chat, whatever. Okay, maybe I just look crazy. This looks like Instagram makeup to me, like a real close-up, like, right, doesn't it? Like, it just does. Um, this side, I, I wanna try again in the future. I'm not gonna say it's a bad product. I love the idea of having that angle on the actual lid so that it's not flying around, getting lost everywhere. And I think with practice, I could get to appreciating and enjoying that one a lot more. So I like them both. The Kaja just has a better formula overall. And then the OG of this whole thing is the vamp stamp. So let's just give like a round of applause for the vamp stamp for that. As far as the stamping, you know, a liner on, they have done something really spectacular with theirs and it's really, really nice. As far as this guy for the cut crease, I don't think it's for my eye shape. I get why people would want to use this to just kind of connect, 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 connect. And it's kind of a nice tool to have and you actually could probably put this right in here and do the same shading thing with a little bit of powder shadow. So I don't think that anything that I tried today was bad. I think it's just gonna be very specific to each customer and what each customer is looking for because we all want different things with our makeup. We all have different eye shapes. We all like different things. Some people like a shiny black liner. Some people like a matte black liner. So it really boils down to exactly what your preference is, how you would use this, why you would use it. Do you need something like this to assist you? Personally, I've been doing makeup enough that the liner assist just doesn't really save any time for me. It actually adds time because I'm quick. I can just be like, Shh, fill it in, done. Now I do makeup every day of my life. You know, I'm always testing products. I'm putting makeup on myself and even pre YouTube, I was doing other people's makeup. So my, you know, ability with, you know, certain products and makeup is different than most, I would say, because this is my career. So I want to keep in mind that the everyday, you know, person who wants a wing liner might find this super, super helpful. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I really think that I will. I'm gonna, I'm really excited about this one though. So crease piece, slam dunk. This is really cool. I think it's awesome. All right, this landed like so much better than I thought. I was really nervous that I was gonna be like, I don't like this, I don't know, it's really weird, but I really like it. So yay, that's so good. You know, like I said, when you discover something that you're like, oh my gosh, where have you been my whole life? That's major. Um, I'm gonna keep my glamorous multi, personality look on and go 
at the rest of my day, but I'm happy that I could just chill out with you guys and try a couple of fun products. I love you all so, so much. I hope you're doing awesome. Make sure you subscribe if you have not yet done that. Ring the bell so you're notified of my upcoming videos, and I will see you guys in my next one. All right, love you guys. Mwah.